What will happen in the immediate future? So we have, you know, questions about exactly, um, you know, one month, two months down the line. But what are you looking at for this weekend? Well, transitions to democracy are always uncertain times, so we don't really know what will happen over the next hours. We do know that the opposition has called for protests. Um, there will be a large march on Saturday, so everyone is looking forward to that. In the meantime, uh, the opposition is working to pressure uh, the Maduro government and also reaching out to the military to see if there will be further defections to facilitate the process. Marianne, how will Guaido actually deal with China and Russia? That's obviously a crucial question in, in this process. I think that he has sent uh, positive messages uh, to both countries, reassuring that uh, deals will be negotiated under uh, the due process of legal the legal framework of the country. So it is essential that these two countries see that the country is in fact transitioning to democracy and they will have to choose a side, if you like. But, but, but can they trust, can Russia and China trust Wido giving his US backing? I believe the question for China and Russia now is to understand that this regime will no longer be holding on to power. So it's very, very difficult for them to sustain a regime that has lost its national support mostly. Um, I believe that Venezuela will have to relaunch its bilateral relationships with all countries including China and Russia and of course uh, Venezuela will continue to be a US trading partner to the US as it has remained over the past 20 years so that hasn't changed right. much in, in fact. Marion, what's important here out of Goethe and Oxford is you've got the distance maybe to have a better judgment. Is the Monroe Doctrine in place here? I believe what's in place here is the support for democracy, if we want to look at it in that way. Uh, Mugwaido has clearly said that the U.S., uh, as well as the European Union, as well as further international actors are crucial in this process. So as in helping the country to, pro to move towards democracy and the respect for human rights, I think that's the stake that we were looking at at this point. How important is it? You've got a great chart out that you've published on all the Venezuelans that have left Venezuela. How important is it if we can move on to a new government or rebuilding democracy that those people return to Venezuela? I think it's an essential question and I think the new government will have to uh, ensure that the diaspora comes back to the country. Venezuela is a country full of talent. We have seen how Venezuelans have uh, have been managing to cover economic political uh, aspects in other countries so I think that the middle class but also lower classes that have been forced to flee the country will have to return and an immediate uh, action will be the humanitarian aid to ensure that there are public goods um, in the country so that uh, Venezuelans can return safely to their home. Uh, with us as well as uh, Professor Morales is Bruce Kasman of J.P. Morgan. Bruce, has J.P. Morgan thought about Venezuela and the ability to bring capitalism back to the country? Well, certainly we have, and I think we're at a pretty important time here. We, we have that perhaps the first real opportunity to see change. I think at the same time we have to realize that getting from here to a democratic Venezuela is a very messy and complex process, and it may not happen uh, quickly. So we've got a long way to go before we can see the the next leg of this turn, turn positive. Uh, I think it's not just the U.S., China, and Russia, but it's other countries in the region whose role are important in terms of uh, promoting change. And obviously, as we look at this from a global point of view, what we're watching mm -hmm. is how the U.S. plays this with sanctions and what role that's going to play in the energy market. And so far, the energy market has been pretty calm in this, right. in this regard. Francine? Yeah, I was going to ask actually, uh, Marianne, about the energy market. How will a, a regime change, you know, affect energy policy in Venezuela? Well, I think that for now, obviously, the new government will have to uh, invest a lot in rebuilding the oil industry. So this is going to be a big focus for the next months or years. But I think that there will be a new commitment to more sustainable development as well, to recover the potential of the country to expand in other sectors as well. Um, Mariana, who, who are you are you watching in terms of, you know, the international community? We heard from Europe, you heard from the U.S. Is there anyone else that's key who hasn't spoken up yet? 
I think we have um, all important countries on board, the European Union, the Organization of uh, American States. Uh, the UN has also uh, given out statements. Um, the US as well, Canada. I think that it will be, um, it would be crucial if left, so-called left-wing or left-leaning countries would also speak out in the promotion of democracy. So this means Bolivia, Ecuador, uh, Nicaragua. It's hard to expect this from them, but I think that this shouldn't be an ideological issue anymore. This is uh, about democracy.